It happened this week. The loss of America's most beloved small town sheriff. Hi, Barn. Andy Griffith died Tuesday at his home on Roanoke Island in North Carolina. Not far, figuratively speaking, from the mythical town of Mayberry, where he served as sheriff for eight seasons on TV. Oh, that, that shows mighty fine character. Mighty fine. It does, Paul? It sure does. And if I had a mighty fine character medal laying around, I'd show sure pin it on you. Born in 1926, Griffith was raised in the real-life North Carolina town of Mount Airy, where he played the trombone and hoped for a career in music. Briefly, a high school music teacher, Griffith quit to pursue comedy and won a talent scout's notice for his football routine. Which bunch full of them men can take that pumpkin and run from one end of that cow pasture to the other without either getting knocked down or stepping in something? In 1955, Griffith went from small town to big city, landing a part on Broadway in the show No Time for Sergeants which won him a Tony nomination, along with a chance to shine in the 1958 movie adaptation. The train ready for inspection, sir. W welcoming the Colonel, sir. In between, Griffith had revealed a completely different side of his talent. Ooh, we, I am ready. I mean, I Playing a megalomaniacal ooh. TV star in the 1957 film, A Face in a Crowd. They're mine. I own them. They think like I do. <laughs> Only they're even more stupid than I am, so I got to think for them. All the same, it was with his portrayal of Mayberry Sheriff Andy Taylor in the 1960s that Griffith made his most enduring mark. What about the dogs, Andy? Well, just leave them here. They ain't hurting anything. You see that apple right there? Yes, Paul. Now that's the Alongside a young Ron Howard as Opie. No, you didn't leave nothing for the worm. <laughs> Don Knotts as Deputy Barney Fife. You're, you're, you're just being nice, Barney. Jim Neighbors as Gomer Pyle. And me, I don't do no engine work. Huh. Just guys and all water dyer. And Francis Bavier as Aunt B. <laughs> Look who's here. Sheriff Matt Dillon. <laughs> Where's Chester? <laughs> week after week, year after year. Andy Griffith, the former comic, played straight man, which he told Rita Braver back in 2003 was fine with him. Playing straight is the best part in the show because you not only get to be in the show, but you get to see it too. The straight man is observing all these other wonderful characters. You get a line and I'll get a pole pay. The Andy Griffith Show went off the air in 1968 while still topping the ratings but it lives on in reruns to this day. And you are? Ben Matlock. And Griffith went on to other movie and TV roles, including the lead in the long-running courtroom drama, Matlock. This was subpoenaed from the physics lab at Mansbridge Institute. Just the character of Matlock was a wonderful character. He was cheap, he was vain, he thought he looked beautiful in that suit. Andy Samuel Griffith. Andy Griffith was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2005. But to hear him tell it, a lot of his fame was simply the reflected glory of the fictional character he was honored to play. Andy Taylor was a very good man, a lot better man than I am. Andy Griffith, AKA Andy Taylor, was 86.